What about this one? Do you know how you eat it? No. We've been so warmly welcomed by Kurdish people and it's been just incredible. Like, it's really made a huge impact on us, um, just how warm and welcoming Kurdish people are. And then also, um, I think how open people are to share their stories and, um, and also share their hearts. Like we, we listen to Dengbej and we, we can't understand it, but we can really feel people's hearts and um, yeah, there's something very beautiful. Mm. We've heard quite a few stories um, talking to Kurdish people about what the struggle has been in recent years and longer back in history and then what it's still like at the moment. The limitations and control around expressing culture and language and yeah, it makes me really sad that people's voices and cultures can be so squashed and controlled. I think we both feel how, we both feel the gravity of it, I guess. Like, mm. we haven't had that experience ourselves, but we feel just how, how sad it is and how destructive it is. And Okay, there's a little community of women that I've had the pleasure to know and meet. Um, of Kurdish women and I, I guess a lot of them are younger than me and I found them to be um, I mean very beautiful physically very strong and creative um, and quite free I think like I feel like myself I at their age I wasn't so free and strong and so I'm really impressed by them even in the political sphere, the way that women are centred um, is challenging to me as a woman and um, how I hold myself in the world and what I want to see change for, yeah, for myself and for other women and, you know, all over the world. But it sort of it makes me think about my own context in Australia and what could be different there. When I was learning about Kurdistan and Bakur and I guess this region. Um, I guess Ahmed is known as the cultural capital of Bakur. So I think it felt like if we were going to start somewhere, it would be a good place to start um, in the cultural capital of um, Bakur. And so that's why we came here to begin with. I think it's impacted me in um, the hospitality of people here. Um, just seen, I've seen and witnessed a lot of warmth towards me as a, I guess, as a foreigner. Um, and it, I guess it felt, it feels magical that come to a city and people could be really warm and affectionate as well feel like I want to take back the stories I've heard and the connections and find those, those the Kurdish people in Australia, connect to them and also maybe white, connect it to, try to see if I can connect those stories to other things that are happening in Australia as well and yeah, I don't know, share the stories I've... Yeah, I would like to be, I guess, supportive in solidarity with what's happening here. Um, and I guess the news that is made here doesn't get to Australia that I'm aware of. Um, but maybe it does, but to be more aware. And I think, I think even on an individual level to have, keep those relationships that I've made here and keep them strong is an important thing to return and... Yeah, I, my reflections on Ahmed is that it's like a, a, mus uh, a city of music. There's music everywhere in different types and there's people connecting with the music. It's not just background, it's like meaningful, meaningful music out of that. The number of people that were willing to welcome us into a home or a, a cafe for some tea 
Um, and I, that really sticks for me that that would be a problem. There's too many nice people. <laughs> My information before I got here was from books and um, we went to a very important exhibition in Australia, photographer, and that I think that was what kind of led us here. Um, but I think since being here, the information has been through people, um, and that's been a really powerful thing um, to hear, like stories of resistance, um, and I think people that they take. They take resistance very seriously, but they take joy very seriously. And I think those two happen here in like a very beautiful way. Um, and I, I, can, I can see that spirit as I'm in the city, out and about, um, and the different stories I'll be told along the way. And so, I th yeah, I, I want to be supportive and in solidarity with those stories. I wonder if you can get a hand I don't you can just get a little handle. No, just a little Ah. Stop. Sorry? What's the name of the show? Welcome. 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 Welcome.